Welcome back to another video today, I will be going over the new artifacts update in a One Piece game. But before we get into the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Since most of you are not even subscribed so click that subscribe button. It will motivate me to make great videos and help my channel grow, so it would be very much appreciated. Anyways with that out the way let's get back into the video. So first I'm going to go over the changes in the update and then go over the new artifact system. The blood bags required for Helsing gun style has went down from 10,000 to 8,000. The raid shop has changed and turned into a gacha where there are three tiers, normal, advanced and elite. You can choose any one of these and spin for rewards like the new artifacts. Now that's all the side stuff that's changed in this update. I'm now going to go over the new artifact system. So artifacts are simple, but useful abilities you obtain through an artifact chest. You are limited to one artifact. If you use another artifact, it will replace your current one. You can get these artifact chests from the challenge raid shop, and their chances increase depending on inlet section you decide to spin on. For example, in normal the rates are 0.2%. In advanced the rates are 0.4%, and finally in elite the rates are 2%. My recommendation is to go for the elite chest because it gives higher chances at a better value compared to normal and advanced. Now you're probably wondering what artifacts you can obtain from these chests. In total you can get 6 different types of artifacts. Artifact of Dimensional Rift. This gives you the ability to teleport to any island or instantly teleport to any sea. Artifact of Dismiss. This ability gives you the passive, Dismiss. This passive has a 25% chance to activate every time you kill an enemy and will grant you invincibility for 8 seconds and has a 15 second cooldown. Artifact of Fire Body. Using this ability gives you the Fire Body passive. This passive has a 25% chance of activating when damaging something and causes the enemy to burn for 20% of the damage you originally dealt for 5 seconds and has a 10 second cooldown. Artifact of Resurrection. This gives you the ability to go back in time, reverting any damage dealt to you and teleporting you back to the same position you were 8 seconds ago. Artifact of Self Healing. This ability heals you for 20% of your max health and has a 15 second cooldown. Artifact of Unsightly Rage. This ability makes you go into a rage mode giving you a damage and defense buff for 10 seconds. Anyways, that is all the artifacts in this update. To get the Cursey to buy the artifact chests, you need to do the challenge raid and spin randomly for it at the gacha next to the teleporter. This is the end of the video, hope you have enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this and I will see you in the next one. Never see it coming